Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll be notified of my other videos. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions video. I picked up quite a few products in the last couple days and I figured why not sit down and film a video using them for the first time. We're going to start off by doing a mask and I picked up two of these at Walmart. I love just grabbing a few of these that I haven't tried and getting um, ones that I know that I like already. And they're great for traveling with. You just throw them in your bag and I wouldn't want to do a mask while you're away at that time. They're perfect for that. So the first one I got is the Smoothing Aloe and Water Cooling Gel Mask, which that just sounds amazing. And then I got this one that I've never seen before. It's a Detoxifying Kale and Dandelion Gel Bubble Mask. So I figured I'd grab this one because I've never seen that they've done, I haven't seen that they've done a bubble mask before. So it says that it bubbles on the skin. And then we're going to read the directions for the first time before we start. It says apply a thin layer of gel over dry, clean face, avoiding eyes and hairline. Bubbles form once gel comes into contact with air and skin. Leave on 10 minutes and gently massage foam into skin and rinse with warm water. Use twice a week or, about, or as often as needed. So I do have a little bit of moisturizer on my face from being out and about today. So we will use our little wipes here and wipe that off. So we're going to put this on, try it out, and while I'm waiting for it to do its thing for the 10 minutes, I do have some work I'm going to do on my computer. Alright, so what I do like to do is I'll cut off the edge with the scissors and then I'll pour it into like one of these little containers that I have because I don't always use all of the masks the first time. That way it doesn't go to waste or get dried up in the packet. Of mask. I should do a mask collection reveal. Oh, it's already bubbling on my forehead. <laughs> you know, it looks like it's bubbling in the container a little bit, so I'm actually just gonna put the rest on my chest and whatnot. Might as well. I don't want it to go to waste. Well, we're going to let that do its thing for 10 minutes. Uh, we'll get on my computer and see what time it is, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so we're back. Face is all washed up. It feels very smooth and clean. And I'm going to go ahead and start using some of the new products that I picked up. First thing we're going to go into is our primer that I got at Walmart. It's by this brand called Found and it seems to have a lot of natural ingredients in it. I have one that is a color corrector. It says that it's with white peony and eye bright extracts, that it's 98% uh, natural, it smooths and imperfects, and adds brightness. And then the other one said that it's a smoothing primer, blurs the look of fine lines and pores, 90% natural with bill, bilberry and peach fruit extracts. I'm going to use this one like around my nose, chin, and forehead, my T-zone area. I'm interested to see if these smell good. I don't want to smell anything. Oh, it comes out like a white, clear color. I don't smell anything. I was really hoping that would smell peachy. <laughs> and this is the color correcting one. Purple. I guess that's the brightening aspect of it. I don't like the smell of that. That smells like something, and I don't like it. Yeah, it smells like cereal or rice krispies or something. That's weird. I do feel like it brightened up my face. <laughs> I don't know if I can get over the smell of that. 
you guys try this out, let me know what you think about the smell. Yeah, I don't like that at all. But it does seem that it went on pretty smooth. It didn't fall up or anything. I hate my fryer is getting a little like pilly on your face. Okay, next thing we're gonna go into is the new, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is new. It's a new L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Shaping Stick Foundation. So I got three different shades. I got, and I really hope these don't look bad on me, but I got Shell Beige, no, Natural Beige for my face. Look a little orange in there. Um, I got Shell Beige for highlight, because I'm going to highlight and contour with these. And then I got Honey for my contour. I've never used a stick foundation before, so this is going to be all new for me. So I'm noticing that the color is not on your bottom. It's not on the bottom half, so make sure you don't mix up your tops. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're looking a little orange, Laura. Good job. Probably putting on way too much. Oh my god, I cannot believe I picked this dark of a color. You can never tell. <laughs> Alright. Does anybody else have this Morphe sponge and when you wash it, it like needs red? It's like the third or fourth time I've used it, and I wash it after I'm done every time, and my sink is just like bright red with water in it. I feel like I have to like go like this instead of pouncing. So orange. <laughs> oh, Laura, you should. I honestly noticed that some of them were open. People had swatched up at the store. <laughs> so close. Oh, it's not too bad after I blended it in my neck there. I don't know what you do if you're supposed to like pounds or if it's okay to be like rubbing this in. I wonder if you're supposed to use a brush with this stuff. Probably would go on a lot better. So I have plans tonight, kinda, sorta. It's like up in the air right now, depending on other things. And I haven't been out in a while, so it would be nice to go out for a few drinks and get dressed up. So hopefully this makeup goes on well, or else I'll have to take it off and do something else. You know, it really doesn't look that bad after I blended it in. But I'm thinking you should use a brush. I'm going to put on a little bit more and use a brush this time. Okay, brush. Use one of those flat cookie brushes from Elf. Okay, we're gonna go into the honey color now, and I'm gonna do my contouring. Which now I'm afraid this is gonna be really dark, so I'll try to keep a light hand. sponge does a nice job. I'm not gonna lie, I can still smell the primer. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, if you use that primer, tell me what you think of the smell. I want to make sure it's not just me. I don't really ever cream contour, so this is 
like a learning experience for me. I've tried it a few times. All I know is that they say not to blend down, so I'm trying to blend up. All right, then we're going to highlight, and again, I'm highlighting with the shell beige. I should have went down a color on every single one. This is more like my skin tone. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're supposed to do your concealer with that, but I'm sure we're gonna do that again. wanting to try stiff foundation so I'm kind of glad that L'Oreal came out with one because I really like their cream foundation or liquid foundation I guess. I haven't used it a long time. smells so good. <laughs> A lot better than that primer. I think we might have to go into concealer unfortunately, which I didn't buy a new concealer, but yeah. But other than that, let's get blended. Okay. You know, it's a little choppy. too many wrinkles already. So I don't really have a setting powder and just because I'm creasing so bad I am going to set like my under eyes with my Cody Airspun just because I know that it'll stay. I actually do want my look to be halfway decent. Alright, the next product that I picked up is the CoverGirl Scented Product. So I have their Scented Chocolate Bronzer, their Scented Peach Highlight, and then two of their Scented Blushes here that are peach scented. It does smell like chocolate. It smells like hot chocolate chocolate. And it's a little bit shimmery, so... I can love it, but I'll just go on with the light hand. Use my favorite bronzing brush. I'm watching my timer here for my SD card. Without time. Okay. I'm gonna be here blending for a while, so I'm gonna go do something else. even her up. Okay, so it's like really patchy where my texture is on my cheeks. It just like didn't go into those spots. Sweet. Pretty color, just not for me. Uh, let's do the blushes here. So they don't have names. One is 130 and one is 120. So 130 is just like more of a pink color. Swatch it here. Pinky color and then um, 120 
is more of a peachy color. Doesn't swatch very well, does it? I think we're gonna try the more pigmented one just to kind of, you know what, let's try both of them. We'll do the more peachy and then I'll put on the pink. One twenty first. Oh, that smell good. That smell like a Jolly Rancher, Jolly Rancher peach. Let's see if I can fix my patchiness. I got going on here. It's a pretty color. Showed up a lot more than I thought it would. Blend it into my cheeks there, get rid of my patchiness on there going on. Press it in real good. Probably just make it a word. Alright, let's go into the pinky color. I'm not sure if there's other bronzers and I'm not sure if there's other highlights. I tried to go online to look at cover more online and I couldn't find anything. So uh, I didn't that off today. That is the highlight. It's pretty. Again has that Jolly Rancher peach scent. Wow, that's all out like that. I don't know if you saw that, but that's a lot. Oh, I have messed this up. So it's a pretty subtle highlight, and I can use like a lot of um, like bam in your face, which is fine. Nothing to have up. base that I wanted to try out. It's by Essence. It says, I love color intensifying eyeshadow base. Let's see. Ooh, wow. Intensifying for sure. I was not expecting it to be that pigmented. Okay, so for eyeshadow, we are using L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadow Palette, so it's a peach scented one, but don't like the scent of this either. So like, you breathe it in, and you smell that peach initially, and I'm like, hmm, that's good, but then like the aftershock of it, I don't like that. It's got like kind of an acidic -y smell to it. I, don't, I can't put my finger on it. So, let's just hope that the smell goes away. All right, and there are no color names on these. There are numbers, so maybe we'll go off of that. Okay, so on the back it has a couple different looks that you can get out of it, just like the Maybelline Lemon, Lemon Palette, Lemonade Palette, Lemonade Grace Palette. Um, so we'll just go off of the numbers. So I'm gonna go into number two, which is this color right here to set that eyeshadow base. Oh, mirror, so I'm gonna be using my Tarte palette just because it's got a nice big mirror, and I've been enjoying having a mirror up close when I do my makeup. Let's see if 
And I'm going to go ahead and set the other eye real quick too. But we're just going to continue doing this one. But I don't want this to grease. And I'm not sure if the eyeshadow grease greases or not, but I just don't want it to. Next color I'm going to go into is number eight. The fallout is real, or the kickback, I should say. Kickback is real. Alright, next color we're going to go into is nine. Nine? Then we're going to go into that 11 color. I'm going to swatch these three shimmers. So this one, this one, this one up here and see which one I want to use next. That's what they look like swatched. Um, I want to use that top one. Which would have been this one up here. So number six. Number six. <sighs> Should I cut the crease or not? Did I do that with the lemonade one? I think I did. I think in order to be fair, I should cut the crease. But I'm not gonna cut it like big time. Alright, we're going to go into that number two. Except that. We're going to go into that uh, number six color that I wanted to try. Beginning just like a satin veil of colors, so not a lot, so not, you know, what you'd want. Uh, let's try Max Fix Plus Spray. I'm sure we all know that that'll work. Definitely gives you some more pigment. But I think we all know the finger that works the best. Um, let me go back into that real dark color again. Just blend it in here. And then we need a color for the inner corner. Um, I'm going to try two different ones here. I went into number three and number four. Like, I think I'm gonna do three. So number three is this one up here. It's more of a pinky gold. And I'm just gonna go straight in with my finger. I'm not gonna make a good deal with trying out the brushes. I think we all know by now that your finger is just the best. Alright, let's go back into that number six. Let's blend them in. to that number three. I just want it more intense. I feel like I'm just wiping it away. Grab a little bit of that goldy. really small blending brush. Let's go into, yeah, let's go into nine. And I'm gonna go under the eye. All right, so that is 
what we're going to do with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and go into my mascara that I picked up here. I already took it out of the packaging, but I just want to show you what it looks like with the packaging. So it's CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast Mascara. And I think, so it says with coconut, avocado, and papaya oils. I think what I understood that this is supposed to help your lashes grow. Treat your lashes to lush ingredients including coconut oil, avocado oil, papaya oil, creamy formula, coats lashes from root to tip for last definition and length without clumps. Uh, maybe that's not what I meant, but I thought that's what I understood. Anyways, I picked it up. I got uh, very black, so that's what we're going to use today. It's a nice controlled mascara wand there, not too cray cray. So we're going to go ahead and finish the other eye and do my eyebrows as well off camera and when I come back we'll move on to our finishing steps. See you in a little bit. Alright, so we finished up the other eye. We got my eyebrows on. I did a little bit of the that middle gold color, the number 5 I believe it was. The number 5 under my brow bone there. Um, and I didn't have a new brow color so I did NYX Brow Precise Brow Precision Brow Pencils. So our next step is going to be to set it. Now this is not new and I have used this before but I haven't used it in a long time because I didn't think that I liked it but I hear that this is like the best drugstore setting spray so I'm going to give it a shot again. So I picked that up along with the Buy One Get One um, Half Off Foundation. So I could even it out there because it's about the same price. It's shaking up real well. I know I sprayed a lot, but okay, I'll make sure it works. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I was looking at my face earlier, like up close, and that highlight that I used peach one. This peach highlight here. It has glitter in it because I can see little tiny specks of glitter and I'm telling you tiny but it has glitter. And then our last couple products that we have here are our lips. Now I got this uh, I think it's pronounced Balmain, Balmain um, lipstick from L'Oreal by buying so much um, products from L'Oreal the other day. Okay, so the color that I got is Urban Safari. So, I'm not gonna lie, I probably should have picked out a darker shade. But that's okay because we're putting something else over it. Hopefully, it'll look good. Uh, we're going to use the Hard Candy Plumping Serum. I picked this up at Walmart. Just wanted to try it out. It does have that plumping effect to it. And I ripped off the sticker that said which one it was since I did try this out the other day. So I have no idea what color it is. I apologize. But I like it. Alright, and the last thing that I wanted to show you is this other found product that I bought at Walmart. And it says it's found for care white clay mattifying power powder. Powder absorbs oil and oil for a natural matte finish and it's 99% natural. This is something that I believe that you can like stick in your purse and use it kind of like a blotter throughout the day. So I just wanted to kind of see and I hope it works well because this is a pretty expensive product for a drugstore. I think it was $12, which I think is a lot for the amount of product you get. And it says uh, finish. So this is the apply after skin care regimen to control to control excess oil and shine throughout the day. Um, a convenient and easy to use brush on mineral powder that helps control shine throughout the day. Finally. Milled minerals deliver translucent coverage while white clay absorbs 
excess oil and shine for a natural matte finish. finish. So from what I understand, um, it says shake gently and remove cap, press bristles gently against skin, swipe brush onto face and apply as needed, use alone over moisturizer or over makeup. Okay, yeah, so that's what I understood, that you can use this throughout the day. So I just kind of wanted to see, so let's shake it up, so let's shake it first. Okay, we shook it. Oh, yep, yeah, see some powder coming out. I do feel like that did a little something. It might have taken away my highlight, really, that's probably all it did, but I'll have to watch the footage when I go through and see what I thought. But I mean, yeah, I just, uh, like it was down, so just put that up, get your cap back on there. I guess you can just stick that in that first tape with you. Well, I gotta finish doing my hair and get my outfit on that I'm gonna wear tonight, and then we'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay everyone, so this is the finished look. Please put down in the comments below what you think. I'm gonna go over um, a few things first here before we finish up. I did end up putting um, my Estee Lauder black eyeliner on my bottom waterline because I forgot to do that earlier. I noticed that you know something just wasn't right. And I curled my hair with my Babyliss Pro curler iron. It's that thing that you like clamp on your hair and it sucks up your hair and curls it. I love that thing. I've used it for years. I don't care what anybody says about it. I I love it. And I will always keep using it until it breaks and then I will find myself a new one. I did just text my friend and they'll be finishing up pretty soon. So I think we're going to grab a bite to eat and then go out for some drinks. And so I'm going to try to do a wear test. So I'm going to try to come back tonight after being out and let you know how everything wore. I'm not sure because I've never done one of those before. So I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. I'm just going to be too tired and want to take everything off of the bed. We'll see. In case I don't get to come back and tell you how everything works out, I'm just going to go over everything real quick here with you. So let me just grab the products that I tried. So the eyeshadows. I do like the way my eyeshadow look turned out and I'm going to give a lot of credit to using a concealer to cut the crease. I like this. don't like the smell, but I like the colors. And the CoverGirl products. Bronzer. Not for me. I just think it's too dark, so I'm wondering if they're going to have lighter colors. The highlighter. Um, it's giving me a nice glow, but like I said, when I looked up close, I could see specks of glitter, so I'm not really crazy about that. And then both of the blushes I liked. Uh, the peach one wasn't as pigmented as the pink one. I like them. I like the smell of them. The mascara I am enjoying. I think it looks really nice. And the eyeshadow base worked out great. Let's see here, the setting spray, the primers, and the foundation, highlight, and contour sticks. Uh, we're gonna have to wait on for sure, but uh, I'll tell you what I think about the foundation right now. Like I said earlier, um, I can still kind of see my imperfections, and I can still see them now, but I don't hate it. Like, I think, I think my skin looks nice and, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but I don't hate it right now and I've had it on for probably about an hour and a half now, so. And then the same thing with the primers. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, I like the peach one, how it went on, and I liked, I do felt like this, like, blurred things out, the, what is it called, the color correcting one, but I did not like the smell one and then like I said I've used this before and I can't remember why I didn't like it or didn't like keep on buying it but um it went on really nice it doesn't have a gross smell it sprayed really nice and uh, right now it looks really good so we'll just have to wait and see what happens and then we used uh, this too I forgot about this so I think I'm gonna have to look at the footage but I do think it did a little bit of something and I'll take it out with me tonight and use it if I get oily or whatever and let you guys know and I think that's everything. <laughs> I feel like really winded right now. I talk a lot. Oh, lipsticks. Uh, this was a little too pale for me. And then I do like the Art Candy Lip Pumper. I don't feel it anymore because when you first put it on, you kind of feel a little bit of stinging, but it's not painful. But I don't feel it anymore. I think my lips look nice. So. 
Anyways, I think that's everything. If I don't come back and tell you my final thoughts tonight, then thank you everybody for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well. And I hope you're having a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Bye, everybody. That was really weird. Bye, everyone.